Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Peg O'Connell and Rufus Edmiston. The state education lottery is proposing an action that's drawing a lot of pushback. Leaders of the lottery want to institute online scratch-off games so that people won't have to go to stores to purchase their tickets. Needless to say, retailers don't like this idea, but the big complaint is it's going to make it too easy for people to gamble. What's your reaction to this proposal? You were our Attorney General, Rufus. And I can tell you right off the bat that I don't like that idea. And, and as Attorney General, uh, I was all up in the air about gambling, little, little gambling joints. Now the state wants to deepen their, their chokehold on gambling, which is no good for the state, cut out the little, the little grocery stores, little, little places that peg that, that sell a few lottery tickets, and that's about all they do. It's unfair, <laughs> and it, it solidifies the state is the biggest gambler of all, the, 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 big, the biggest gambleholic is the state of North Carolina. <laughs> well, uh, there's no question about uh, the fact that a lot of the convenience stores uh, generate an awful lot of revenue from sale of lottery tickets. They do, you know, and I agree with Rufus. Uh, the, they won't let those little video poker parlors. Sweepstakes parlors, yeah. that's yeah. what they're called. Um, because they said they're immoral and fattening and um, they can't control them. But then when the state wants to do exactly the same thing, that's all of a sudden all right. And so the question is, how, you know, how much of the soul of North Carolina are you willing to sell in order to generate some lottery money? Well, I think we said on, on NC Spin at the time that once you got the state into the gambling business, it was a slippery slope. And you and couldn't get out of it. And, and here, here again, they said, we will not defer any other money that would go to education normally. Ha ha. Uh, they deduct from the general yeah. appropriations every year the amount of money that the lottery brings in. Ha ha hip hypocrisy. They and wasn't going to supplant no, the, the education budget. Well, and I think the fact that this proposal came out of the Revenue Generation Committee, led by Senator Rand, indicates that that, you know, this is not about competing or anything. It's just simply about making more money. And when you make it that easy, I mean, heck, you should see what I get from Amazon because I've, oh, I got a couple minutes. I mean, good Lord, if lottery tickets were on my phone uh, or somebody's phone who is got a problem with that, that would be, that's just, it's horrible and the state should not be in that place. So uh, l let's just assume this online lottery goes through. Uh, where do we end here? Are we going to parimutuel betting? Or are we going to, I mean, they've, uh, the, the, there's a big debate that's going to be well, taking it, place on betting on sports mm -hmm. games. Anything right. would be better than the lottery. Horse racing, at least you have a, a, a contaminant, a, an a, industry, yeah. industry yeah. associated yeah. with it, like raising horses and pasture and feed. You have something that produces, the lottery produces nothing. Well, and you know, I mean, this is a state that won't privatize its liquor system because they think that's immoral and fattening, yet they're willing to, to do this with scratch-offs online or, you know, the, the next best thing to sell people more stuff that they probably yeah. don't you know, need. I think that the solution is they just ought to let us be in charge. What do you think? Works I don't even want on that lottery. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.